Welcome back to MechWarrior 3, episode 10! <gasps> Excuse me, just a little excited. Now, right off the bat, you've probably noticed... There's no music. Yeah, um, the music died, and I'm not sure why, but I haven't tried to play this on my new computer yet, so I'm assuming it has something to do with that. Although, how that is related, I'm not sure, but I mean, yeah, I have the disc in, and the game starts, obviously, as you can see. Music is just not playing. This does nothing, so, uh, yeah. Which I suppose isn't really the worst thing in the world, because then I can, you know, just in editing, I'll overlay my own music, which is fine. I tested the game, uh, it all works, everything works fine still on uh, my new machine here, so. So we're still on Op 3, Mission 3, and we're just gonna get right into it. We have no probe data for this area, only this space shot. Go ahead, Alan. My pod was last out of the Black Hammer. I came to ground very near where the dropship finally crashed. About here, I figure. At Op Point Able. No other survivors, long range comms completely shot. No support vehicles, no way to make ammo reloads even. All I could do is wait and hope someone came looking. Yesterday, the Jags came through in heavy force and found the hammer. I had to fade or be discovered. Been playing hide and seek ever since. The Smoke Jaguars are certainly stripping the Black Hammer for themselves. I'll bet you that convoy Keith Andrew noticed was heading out to pick up the salvage. Keith made it? How close? Can he drop some of those artillery missiles of his on the convoy for us? Tech check, Alan. None of us are outfitted with the tag spotting laser. Without it, Keith is about as accurate as the field base in predicting planner moves. No offense. None taken, Gunner. I appreciate the vote of confidence. There's tag equipment aboard the Black Hammer. There you go. That'll do just nicely. Okay, we've got our point able plotted, but this is all a guesswork and a plan-as-you-go deal. Okay, so we don't even get, like, a little uh, intro video for this. Like you said, he's got no uh, flight data. So, yeah, uh, pretty much going in blind, which is awesome. I like surprises. I mean, who doesn't like surprises? <laughs> wow, I really can't do that. But yeah, Mad Cat, Shadow Cat, yay! Oh, two of my favorite mechs. I mean, we already had a Shadow Cat, but Mad Cat! So I'll be taking those, and, um, yeah, my tonnage. Okay, I, like, I don't know if there's actually anything I need. That's the thing, like, I'm gonna look through and see if there's anything I actually want or need. I mean, cases don't cost anything, so I'll just take all those, but can always use double heat sinks. I don't know if I need any more armor right this second. Like I said, I'm gonna go into the mech bay and uh, pimp everybody out and just kind of work back and forth between um, building mechs and then getting stuff from salvage while I'm doing this. So this may take a while, which means I'm just gonna skip through this whole thing so that I don't waste your time and stuff. Oh yeah, and as I mentioned, uh, we're gonna be picking up the tag equipment because we get the tag lasers and stuff in this mission and the next mission, I'm assuming that's when we use it for some kind of big artillery strike. I really wish I could remember, but as a kid playing this, I don't, I don't even remember if I beat this entire campaign. I remember getting to like that one weird volcano level. If I have a video of that, I'll just find it on YouTube and show it. And I think that was like one of the last uh, missions. But all the missions we're doing here in Op 3 are really like kind of fuzzy in my memory. I really don't remember much of these. Oh, look at this baby right here. Mm. Yeah, there's no way in hell I'm not running the Mad Cat right now. <laughs> Especially love its design and the way it looks in this game in particular. It just, I just, ah, oh. ah, oh, it's so fucking awesome. Yeah, I'll probably be playing this a lot, so. Give me a second while I pimp this out. 12 seconds later. Ah, see, here's one of my older builds from uh, a long time ago. Three large pulse, two medium pulse, and an ERP PC. This is a very kind of like heavy energy build. Two hours later. Okay, that took a hell of a long time, but I think I'm all set now. Um, knowing me, this is probably a terrible build, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I really wanted to bring a pair of LRMs because they actually worked out pretty well last time, even though it was my cousin who was in control of them, but now I'll be in control of them, so hopefully I'll be able to do better with the uh, <laughs> the LRMs. But yeah, three, uh, ER le uh, blah, 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 blah. three ER medium lasers, Gauss rifle, which I don't have a lot of ammo left for at all. Uh, if you see here, I got one ton, which is eight rounds, and then I didn't even have enough for another ton of ammo, so it's 0.8 tons because it's only six rounds so i have 14 shots left with the cost rifle i need to make them count and of course the pair of uh, lrms i left the annihilator the same with uh all this that he had before in the last mission gave our third guy here the vulture that uh that i was running the uh the pulse lasers and the other lrms i'm not how sure or i'm not sure how good the ai is with lrms but i'm just gonna hope i guess 
and then uh, the Thor here. I had to redo this because originally this was built with the Gauss rifle, so I built it with a PPC instead. Very kind of heavy uh, energy build, so. And then I went through and did all the salvage and got um, pretty much everything I wanted or that I could carry anyway, so. Okay, time to pray and <laughs> hope this works out. Wow, it's a good thing I just realized before I started recording that I forgot to plug in my joystick! Speaking of that, by the way, I kinda looked at the last episode and realized how shit my joystick has actually become and how much better I could be with like a mouse and keyboard. This is me playing with a mouse and keyboard right now and I can just be like, pew pew, fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you! It's a lot more accurate to aim and I know, I know! However, playing with a joystick to me is kinda like more authentic and awesome because it makes me feel, you know, like I'm actually more simulator like a real mech warrior would have a joystick. And it, it probably would be hard to like aim and stuff and control a, you know, 100 ton robot, you know? So honestly, I kind of like the challenge, and it's a lot of fun, even if my joystick is completely dying on me. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Hammer's dead ahead. I'm reading enemy contacts, Lance Leader, but no salvage convoy. We might be too late. Mech power up detected. <laughs> I love this thing, man. God, this looks so awesome. What a fucking the beast. The here, Star Commander. Protect the drop ship. Jerome, cancel control. Oh, shit. That was a Is that an avatar? That is an avatar. Uh, I forgot how to joystick. Oh, God. There we go. Okay, wow. That took me a second. I don't really have much commentary, I'm just kind of focused on kicking ass right now. Fuck you! Eh. All right. <laughs> what are my teammates doing, man? There was like a purple thing on his... Did you see that? Wait a minute. Look back in the recording. There was like some weird purple flashy thing on his leg. I don't know. Uh, I gotta remember how to tell... Teammates to attack. Okay. If you say so. Yes, sir. There we go. Sure. It's been quite a while. I forgot to mention that the last time I played this was when I was in New York. Um, that recording with my cousin was, uh, you know, when I was in New York, and I've been in Florida for three months now. So I haven't played <laughs> since I've been here in Florida for about three months, four months almost. I can land a Gauss shot. Ah, damn it. Those are really hard to. Damn, my arms are not happy. Come back. Come on. Get over here. Oh, you piece of shit. <laughs> no arm for you. I just realized I only have three shots left with the Gauss Rifle. I really did not conserve that well. I hear helicopters. Can I actually hit them with missiles? Oh, I'm out of missiles. <laughs> yeah, I didn't really do do good with... Oh my god. Well, he just got wrecked. I'm about to lose an arm. Yeah, this was a bad build. This is just straight up bad. If I get killed by little elementals, I'm gonna be really pissed. <laughs> have a Gauss rifle. You have one too. 
Oh my god. That is so fucking satisfying. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. Oh well. I lost an arm. But... Okay, what am I doing? What are my mission objectives here? Secure dropship with MFB. Oh, I have to tell them to come here, don't I? Hang on. Waiting for rendezvous coordinates. Roger that, Lance Leader. Transferring now. Okay. So they're on their way. Um, see, I see purple again. What is that? Some kind of glitch, I guess. I don't know. Weird. Oh, my poor arm. <laughs> I'm gimped. Man. Um. Wait a minute. Where's the Thor? Oh my God, we didn't lose somebody already. Are you kidding me? I lost the Thor. Who was in the Thor? No, wait, they're all, they're all showing up. Wait, it shows Alan way back there. What? Uh. Lead the way. Did he get stuck or something? Hang on, I'm gonna go find out <laughs> where he is. I love there's just massive craters and little bits of body parts and debris <laughs> where the elementals were. Oh, that's so awesome. Oh, come on. Give me up the fucking hill. Alan! Where are you? Why does it show him all the way back there? Targeting. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, okay. If you say so. Yep. Affirmative. They're like on the edge of the map here. Are we not supposed to fight them yet? I don't know. Hmm. Avatar. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. No, 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 no. Get these guys, Targeting. get these guys. Targeting this power up right away, sir. Targeting. Trying to sneak up and attack my MFBs. Bitch. Uh, we're on your side. I'm not shooting you. Which one of my teammates is shooting you? I'm gonna murder them. Fucker. Targeting. No. Yes. <laughs> no. Uh, you got incoming and Ryan. Holy shit. Uh, 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 uh. You're the boss. Power. Oh my god. I don't know where Alan is. Where the hell is Alan with my Thor? I bring the pain. <laughs> Wrecked. Got the next guy. If you say so. I wish I had some range. Just got knocked on his ass. I just shot off his arm from across the map. Oh, ow. Oh, ooh, that was close. Next. Oh, he wasn't dead yet. <laughs> okay, now next. I'm gonna try to get his leg here. Oh, wow, I completely missed. Hang on. Fuck your leg. You piece of shit. Mission successful. Woo! Alright, that actually went quite well for a really crappy build of mine. <laughs> okay. Hang on, I'm just gonna run back to, before I end the mission, I'm gonna run back to the MFBs uh, in case they say something. Because sometimes they do at the end of missions, I don't know. I just, I don't wanna, <laughs> I don't wanna miss anything, you know. They didn't do too bad either, I'm not really that much beat up besides a missing arm, you know. The Jaguars removed a great deal of salvage from the Black Hammer, but at least one convoy should still be within our striking range. Reports from the Eclipse say that they're down two warriors already, and Galaxy Commander Corbett is pressuring them relentlessly. Lance Leader, we need to get this salvage or at least deny it to the Jaguars. If the clan fields many more warriors out of Durgan City, the rescue team will go down and will be cut off. Alright, sounds good. Oh, there's the tag that we need. See, I must have, I don't know, yeah, like, 
the Mad Cat must be really good for blocking shots with uh, your sides, because, I mean, the arms pretty much saved me. Either that or, I don't know, I just got lucky. Yeah, Alan, look, Alan's fine. So where was he that whole time? I wonder if he, like, <laughs> I wonder if he fell through the map, because I've seen that happen before. You can actually fall through and go under the world, so I, I didn't see what happened to him. Huh. All right, well, I'm going to end it here. I'm trying to, um, going to be keeping these episodes a little shorter from now on, um, because I got a job. <laughs> Which is great, because it means money! But it also means less time for YouTube. Aww. But I still want to try to get these videos out as soon as I can, which is why I'm going to keep them kind of shorter instead of the longer 40-minute videos I usually do, because those just take a hell of a long time to edit and uh, get out. So, hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching. A secret message at the end of a video. <gasps> I just want to let you guys know that I've finally redone my Patreon to support both YouTube and my music directly, with all new goals and rewards and stuff. I did a video about it here you can check out, where I also delve into forthcoming videos and projects on YouTube that I have planned. I may have a full-time job now, but that won't stop me. Ultimately, my goal with Patreon is to be able to quit the full-time job that I literally just started and do YouTube and music full-time. Of course, this goal is far in the future, but you gotta start somewhere, right? I want to personally thank my current patrons thus far. Hoss, Simon, Lobo Mallow, Pat Ray, MJ Brennan, Michael Warnk, Kira Arachiga, Claire Lowe, Brayden, Dave Brown, Joe Blind, Sierra Shepard, and Matt Hudson. You guys are awesome, and again, thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.